new sunscreen day. <laughs> I picked this up at Target. You saw that in my last Target haul video. The Aveeno Common Restore Daily Moisturizer. I, I think somebody mentioned this to me. Do I say hi? Say good morning. This is Mama Blossom. She's a sweet tortie. She looks grumpy, but she's very sweet and very chatty. Someone recommended this to me, and but I could never find it in the stores. And then I just happened to run across it in Target. Common Restore Daily Moisturizer Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30 for sensitive skin, fragrance-free, 1.7 fluid ounces, 5.8% tit titanium dioxide, and 12.5% zinc oxide. So is this gonna be tinted? You think it's gonna be this color on the back? I don't know. I need to wash my hands after touching the cap um, before I put this on my face. Okay, clean hands. <laughs> Let's pull my hair back. Okay, taking bets. Who <laughs> thinks this is gonna leave a white cast? Love you now. <laughs> okay, good, it's sealed. All right. I'm really worried that this is gonna have a white cast, but it does have a lot of titanium dioxide in it, doesn't it? So maybe, maybe there's hope. I have no idea what finish. Okay, it is tinted. Interesting. It is tinted. Can you tell up against my skin? It's, it is, it's tinted. Is it the shade on the box? Mm, it's a little more orange tone than on the box. I mean, it looks like it's gonna be a good match for me. Let's find out. Okay, oh, this is very thin filling. <gasps> okay. Okay, it does have a scent, but it, you can tell it's a fragrance-free scent, if you know what I'm talking about. Ooh, I did need more moisture today. It has been getting chilly, except for today. It's supposed to be in the 60s, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Now, I have tried other Aveeno sunscreens in the past, and the only one I liked was a chemical one, but all the mineral ones I tried left a horrible white cast. So this one has promise for my skin tone. I do like Aveeno products in general. I love their body lotions. I consistently have bought that for years and years. Definitely don't put this all over your face. You know, I tried that with the second finger because it dries down quickly into a tacky feeling and you can't move it around. Um, right now it feels super tacky. It looks like a natural matte finish, which I like. Um, it does not have a white cast on my skin tone. I can't guarantee that for darker skin tones. Yeah, I think it looks really nice, but I'm hoping that it dries down more because right now it is super super tacky. I'll be back and we'll hope that it dries down in about 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll put the makeup on. Okay, it is in 12 minutes. <laughs> I like the finish. It is a natural finish. It's not too matte on me and it's not glowy at all. If anything, it leans more to the matte side. The shine is just because I'm standing in front of these bathroom lights. It's still very sticky. I, ah, I want to say I would love to wear this on its own, but because it's sticky, my hair is just going to like stick to it. I just feel like I'm going to have hair stuck to my face. <laughs> it feels sticky. So like even my neck where I put it on feels sticky. Let's try some foundation on top and then I'll check back in with you in two hours and we'll see how the foundation does because it might be perfect. It might be the perfect amount of tackiness on your foundation. I mean, if I had to, if I was in a pinch, I would wear this on its own. I just finished putting on my Misha foundation. And I was like, oh, this is, this, it went on nicely. I just had to do some pat patting. And then I was like, what is this? I know you can see it. I don't know you can see it. Peeling, it's just peeling it off. <laughs> no, and now it's popping up here. Ah. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I apologize. <laughs> the inner sunscreen beast coming out. 
I'm gonna have to wash my face because I have to film other videos for y'all today and I can't have a peely face. I'll let you know what it looks like in two hours. I think I am gonna wait for two hours because it's just here. Maybe you guys won't notice in a sit down video. Maybe you won't. And maybe the rest of my face won't peel. I can have high hopes. Two hour update. I'm sitting at my desk in front of a window. Can you see? It looks a little glowy, uh, but I think that's the foundation more so than the sunscreen. I feel like it looks great under foundation. Like, great. Besides the pilly issue that I had this morning here, no more pillies have appeared, which is fantastic. <laughs> uh, but there is one, one huge problem uh, what, that I will not be wearing this past today. So here are my final thoughts on this sunscreen. Hi, Sean here, Melanoma Mom. Join me on my mission to prevent skin cancer by subscribing to this channel. All right, you just finished watching my wear test of the Aveeno Calm and Restore SPF 30. Whew, that was a journey, wasn't it? Uh, first, where do, where do I even start? <laughs> the tent was good for me. It's like a peachy beige tint. It was very difficult to rub in, but it dries down quickly. And once it dries down, you can't move it around. I suggest if you get this to do very small areas at a time. And I also suggest that you measure it out in an in a actual quarter of a teaspoon because I found that it was it's thin filling and because it looks like a hot mess if you rub in a lot at once, the temptation will be to use less than is actually required to get the SPF of 30. I did like that it is a matte finish. I think that's fantastic. You know me, I have normal skin, but I do prefer a matte or natural finish. It is lightweight. It, you can't tell that it's on your face until you touch your face, and then it does have a very tacky feel even under foundation. Now it's formulated with their oat and fever few ingredients that Aveeno is known for, known for to calm and reduce redness, so that's fantastic. It is fragrance-free, but it does have that typical, what how do I put this, fragrance-free uh, mineral sunscreen scent. I love that it has 5.8% titanium dioxide and 12.5% zinc oxide, fantastic. It also has a pretty short list of ingredients. I'll pop them up here on the screen. And it also has iron oxides at the very bottom of the list, which is awesome. Iron oxides can also lend some UV filtering properties. They can also add in color uh, to help reduce the white cast. I do think that this will leave a white cast on darker skin tones though. So let me know down below if you've tried this and how it has looked on your skin. Also a major issue was, was the peeling on the chin. Now, once I got the rest of my makeup on, I didn't have any additional peeling. I did not try this one again because I, there were so many things that I did not like about it, which you may think, well, Sean, you didn't give it a fair enough test. <laughs> But if I don't like the way it feels on my face, if it's peeling, if it's peeling, uh, that's a no-go for me. I've already passed this sunscreen on, which is why I don't have it in my hand. It's already passed on for a family member to try out. It is pretty expensive for 1.7 fluid ounces. When did Aveeno get so expensive? <laughs> it is $26 on the Ulta website, but it's on sale right now for 20. That's a lot for that price point. I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna pass. Wanted to show you the big baby. <laughs> this is Jojo. She is Mama Blossom's daughter. Of course, she used to be smaller. She's not even two years old yet. She's part Maine Coon and she is a big fluffy girl, aren't you? This fluff tail over here gets in your face quite often. But she's so pretty, aren't you? The pretty girl. 